Hi, this is Jeff Spence, your Math 135 instructor for the Community College of Denver, and this is my video lecture over Section 1.2. In 1.2, uh, we're going to be talking about basically the introduction to statistics. We're going to describe what the field of statistics is, the actual science of statistics as a whole. We're going to state the meaning of descriptive statistics and also inferential statistics, and uh, show that inferential statistics is really uh, why statistics is booming as a science nowadays because we can learn and estimate things about a population by collecting data from a small sample of that population and uh, the power of that uh, inferential part side of statistics is really why statistics is such an interesting field. So for instance, uh, what is statistics? So statistics uh, statistics themselves, this is not the field of statistics, but st uh, statistics themselves are numbers that describe a group of people or things. So for instance, this question was asked, do you believe in aliens? And the way this was presented was that 54% that, uh, that, uh, of men believe in aliens, while 33% of women believe in aliens. So things that we ask about in statistics are, you know, how did they even get these numbers? How many people did they ask? Are these figures accurate? You know, did they, did they ask a representative uh, sample of men and women? Or did they just ask their friends, you know? Uh, did they come up with these percentage, percentages even accurately? And could this stuff be just total BS? Lastly, let's assume that all those questions above were you know, answered correctly and we feel good about these numbers and we feel that these are good representations of the percentages of men and women that believe in aliens. The other question we ask, and this is the inferential side, is is the difference between men and women meaningful or is it just due to random chance? You know, was the sample just random and a lot of men in that sample believed in aliens and not a lot of women believed in aliens from that sample? Or is it really, is this really a good telltale sign that men uh, believe in aliens more than women? So those are the kind of questions we ask. Field of statistics, formally, is the art and science of collecting. So that would be asking all the people, yes or no, did you believe in aliens? Analyzing, so that would be coming up with these percentages. And actually going a little further, is, is this... Is this um, or actually taking that data and putting them to men and women, coming up with those percentages, presenting it, so coming up with this graph where you could put this information in a table, and then lastly, interpreting it. That's kind of the last question. Is this difference between men and women meaningful, or is it just due to total random chance? That's the interpretation part. So descriptive statistics is the first half of statistics. This is generally the easier part. A lot of us could go out and do this right now, collect a sample of data of numerical data come up with an average come up with a standard deviation put it in a table um, and that basically describes the sample and the data that you collected so um, that's why they call it descriptive statistics so you summarize and organize the information in a data set a lot of times when you're collecting data you just get responses in a list eventually you want to put those those responses in order or in a in a Put them, in, put them together in a meaningful way, whether it be a graph or a table. Okay? Some definitions that are going to be really important for us are elements, variables, and observations. An element is a singular, singular thing of whatever uh, you're, you're observing. So if the population is people, then you're, an element would be one person. If you're observing cars and you want to know if cars are import or domestic, then the element would be a car. Um, a lot of times for us, elements are going to be individual people. But remember, the element is the most basic individual thing of what you're observing. The variable is the characteristic of that element. So an element can have a bunch of characteristics based on how many questions you ask. Uh, could be age, uh, weight, height, uh, hours worked, number of children. Those are all variables color of car, whether they're going to vote for a certain uh, thing or not, whether or not they believe in aliens, those are all variables. So that's basically what the, what the question is. And the observation is the actual, uh, the actual value or, or observation that you collect. So 
an observation could be a bunch of tallies of yeses and noes for believing in aliens or not, or a particular observation could be the height that I recorded from the the last person that I saw in my sample. So the observation is actually the data value. So variables themselves have some definitions that we have to work on. Okay. So remember, variable is like the characteristic, and um, there are two types of variables, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative on the left is, the word I like to use with qualitative is quality or a characteristic, okay? These things are categorical, things that you put, that, things that you uh, organize uh, based on characteristics, your favorite color, whether you believe in aliens or not, that's a yes or no question, import or domestic car, uh, uh, things that basically aren't numerical in value and you can't do operations to. And that leads us to quantitative variables. The word I like to use with quantitative variable is quantity, quantity, like a number. Now, the main thing with quantitative variables is that you have to be able to do meaningful arithmetic to it. So imagine like your age and somebody else's age. Could you add those two ages together and does it make sense? It does. Could you take an average age? Yes, that makes sense. For instance, though, your phone number, while it is a number, is not a quantitative variable because you can't add one phone number to another phone number and necessarily get a, another phone number that makes sense. Or you can't take the average of two phone numbers. That, that wouldn't make sense at all. Quantitative variables also have two uh, sub-definitions, discrete and continuous. Okay, So quantitative, your numerical value, uh, values can either be discrete or continuous. Discrete, the word I like to use is countable. Things that are countable are like people in a room, cars in a parking lot, um, pills in a bottle, cells in a, uh, in a tray. Okay, Continuous variable are things like height, weight, uh, speed, time, things that are measurable. The big thing about continuous is, like for instance, my weight, it can fall anywhere on it on a continuum, okay? If I measure my weight to the nearest uh, 0 0.000000 gram, it can be very, very specific and fall anywhere on an interval, okay? So continuous ones are variables are much more difficult to work with than your discretes, which are take on finite or countable, countable values. All right, now we're gonna get into inferential statistics, which is the second half of statistics. The big thing here is that, that we want you to understand first is that there's the difference between a population and a sample. Okay, The population is everything and the sample is the subset of that population. Okay, We use a sample because generally to get everybody to respond in a population is either too expensive, takes too much time, or it may be impossible. Um, in order to get everybody in a population, that's called a census, and generally that's impossible or too expensive. So what we do instead is we collect a sample. From that sample, we get a numerical summary, it could be a percentage or an average or a standard deviation, which is called a statistic. So statistics come from samples. Good thing they both start with S. We use that to excuse me. We use that statistic to estimate a parameter, which is the same summary of that population. So, for instance, if I wanted to know the percentage of people that are going to vote for Governor Hickenlooper in the next election, I can't ask everybody in Colorado. But one thing I can do is sample a hundred or a few hundred people and get a representative sample of residents in Colorado. Come up with a percentage, which is the st statistic of people that will vote for Governor Hickenlooper and use that as an estimate of the parameter of all people that were that will vote for um, Governor Hickenlooper. And this is kind of an elementary diagram. I'm going to move on to this more uh, informative one. So once again, just to, re to, re to repeat, um, this picture does a good job. The population is everything, the blue the blue uh, region. And we sample, take a subset, which is a sample from that population. Okay, because usually it's too difficult to ask everybody in the population or record data from everybody in that population. So once we have that sample, we perform the data analysis. Whether it's computing a percentage, computing an average, we may want to put the, the data in a table or a graph and we perform some data analysis. After that, the second half of statistics comes through 
and we use uh, formulas, theories, and other things to make an inference about the population, whether it be an estimate of the percentage of folks that are going to vote for Hickenlooper or an estimate of the average age of CCD students. We use uh, our data from the sample to eventually come with, with an estimate about the population. And that is why statistics is a booming science, because we found ways to come up with really good estimations from samples, just from the data from a sample, which could be quite the, a small subset of the population. Um, and we can come up with really good estimations and really good uh, predictions about the population just from this small set of data. So that's what's really cool about statistics. To summarize, I want you to remember the main things from this is that uh, I want you to remember that, that what an element, a variable, and observation are. I want you to know the difference between qualitative and quantitative variables. That's really important. And then the difference between a population, uh, a sample, a parameter, and a statistic. All those things are going to come through through the rest of the course. So good luck, and we'll see you next time.